If you're following intermittent fasting for a weight loss goal or for a wellness goal, are salads your only option to have for lunch? Now that it's fall and kind of chilly out and salad isn't necessarily the most appealing option, today I'm sharing 10 different lunch ideas that aren't salads that you can use with intermittent fasting. All right guys, if you don't know who I am, my name's Autumn. I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's nutrition human performance. On my channel, I'm typically talking about the science back and holistic methods that you can use in order to achieve your wellness dreams. So if you have a wellness goal in mind, make sure you subscribe. We also have a sponsor for today video. Thrive Market has been an amazing long time supporter of this channel. And it's the first brand that I ever worked with because it was the only one that reached out to me that I felt like would actually be beneficial for you guys. And I love that they make these healthy food options that we're always talking about affordable as well as accessible. I mean, it's great because food options like chia seeds and coconut butter and all the things that we're always talking about are typically 25 to 50% less expensive than if you were to get them at a market and it's delivered to your door. For example, I get my chia seeds through them and typically chia seeds are about 50 $19.99, but because I'm a Thrive Market member, I get them for $7.99. Plus, you even get free shipping for all your orders over $49. And Thrive Market is giving AM peeps an additional 25% off on top of that 25 to 50% off and a free 30 day membership trial when you use the link that I have down in the description. So make sure that you guys check them out. All right, let's jump into these non salad lunch ideas. The first are my LA Street Tacos. This is one of my favorite recipes because it's really easy to whip up and it contains the protein, fat, and fiber all needed to make sure that you don't feel hungry and you can tap into your fat burning mechanisms. And because this is a lunch recipe, I would recommend instead of using a corn tortilla, using a lettuce wrap instead. That way your body can have an even lower insulin response and more efficiently tap into fat burning mechanisms. And if you're like me, then you're also going to want to make sure your hot sauce is close by because I add like a quarter cup of hot sauce. <laughs> All right, number two, burger and roasted veggies. Now the key to make your veggies taste amazing is how long you roast them for. Now I always roast my cruciferous veggies like Brussels sprouts and cauliflower and broccoli for at least 20 to 25 minutes at 375 or 400 degrees. I think that these vegetables have gotten a really bad reputation for a long time because we're used to having them steamed. I mean, I know there are people who prefer vegetables steamed. I don't. And when you roast them like this, it helps to bring out the natural flavors that are within the vegetables rather than just making it like a mushy, not very fun vegetable <laughs> option. And you can also pair your burger along with these roasted vegetables with a really great fat option like avocado or guacamole. All right, number three, meatballs and veggies. In my level up guide, I have one of my favorite recipes in there, which is a Spanish meatball recipe. Oh my God, so good. And you can get so much flavor with these sauces from the cumin, the garlic, the paprika. And you can pair this with the roasted veggies just like we did with the burger. Top some pine nuts on there. Oh my gosh. All right, number four, my reviving detox soup recipe. Now this is actually also featured from one of my cookbooks as well, but I'm going to share the exact recipe with you guys. So I'll have it linked down in the description below. It's super simple and you can make a really big batch of this, which helps to really load up on the fiber. Now I'm making one adjustment to the soup to add in extra protein so that we can make sure that it's a full meal. But even then it still has very minimal amounts of ingredients, is super easy to make and perfect now that it is cold out. So make sure they check out the recipe down below. All right, number Number five, tahini roasted cauliflower paired with your favorite proteins. Now with the cauliflower, you're going to be getting a lot of your fiber and tahini is a really great fat source that helps to add in flavor as well as the satiating fat. And you can make a really big batch of this for the week and pair it with your favorite protein like salmon or beef, eggs, or even lentils or chickpeas if you're going the plant-based route. And what's great is that you can just roast your cauliflower and toss it with some tahini and you're done. And number six, the everything Buddha bowl. Now this recipe is actually featured from my 21 day intermittent fasting program. And I love it because it has so many different flavors. I view it almost as like the kitchen sink recipe. You can simply roast a bunch of the vegetables that you have left, sprinkle on some hemp seeds, some avocado, add in some fresh sliced cucumber for a little added crunch. And of course, again, pair it with your favorite protein for that satiating factor. All right, number seven, roasted veggie and ginger spice soup. Now this is actually one of the recipes that you guys can get from my free holiday cookbook. And I'll have that link down in the description as well so that you can download it. And one slight adjustment I have to this recipe to make it really great for lunch is to simply swap out the sweet potato for cauliflower again to help to make it so that you reduce that insulin response and tap in the fat burning mechanism all right number eight cauliflower rice tabbouleh with garlic chickpea falafels now this is where i really recommend that you make this on your own because most of the tabbouleh that you'll buy will be with quinoa or some other type of grain that will really raise your insulin levels cauliflower as the base on the other hand doesn't have that same effect plus it contains the fiber to help to keep you satiated and this is also a really great plant-based option because of the garlic chickpea falafel as 
your protein source instead. I also love to drizzle on tahini at the end of this as my sort of dressing for this recipe. All right, number nine, the weeknighter bake. This is again, one of my 21 day intermittent fasting program recipes. And it's such a staple and it's so easy. This tends to be some of the AM peeps favorite recipe because it is so easy. And although it's usually intended for dinner, this is one that can easily swap down to lunch as well. And my favorite part about this whole thing is the super simple lemony dressing that you put over the entire recipe. And it's just so simple and so delicious. This is one of my favorites. All right, number 10, cauliflower rice burrito bowl. This recipe also uses cauliflower rice as your base. It also tends to be one of the A&P's favorites because again, it's so easy and so packed with flavor. And even though it uses a cruciferous vegetable as the base instead of rice in order to keep that insulin level lower, it can practically replace any Chipotle burrito bowl. You can even mix and match ingredients to make it fit your taste profiles. This is also featured from the 21 day intermittent fasting program, but I've actually shared it as a sneak peek for free for you guys. And I'll have that link down in the description below as well. And if you're looking for breakfast recipe ideas, make sure you check out one of my favorite fat burning smoothie recipes right here. Also, if you love the science backed information on how you can feel amazing again, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.